Hey guys, what's up? It's, um, X Dynasty HDX. Basically, today I'm gonna show you all how to um snipe the silent sniper. Um, basically, right here you see me just playing around. I'm just sitting around at the beginning. Um, I ended up going 35 kills, eight assists, and one death in this game. Um, the reason why I'm bringing y'all this commentary though isn't because I'm trying to see what everybody can do and how many subs I can get. I more kind of want to see people doing the sniping technique. I think it's really elaborate kind of. A nice way to snipe. Your kill death will go up a crap load. Like, I didn't think it was this good, but then I ended up going like five games in a row just going positive 30. Like every game, legitly. Like this one, I go positive 34. And the game, a couple games before this, I believe, I go positive 30. And I just kept getting them back to back with the sniping technique. I never really tried to snipe like this, but um, my friend mentioned it. He's like, or I saw him hiding in a bush. I was in a party with him, and um, I decided to put it on and snipe with him. And this, it doesn't really take that long to learn. It takes a couple days at the most. And... Yeah, it's kind of a fun way to snipe, too. Like, it can get boring at points. Like, if you're in a spot that no one will find, or no one will go by. But if you're going to more or less just sit in a spot that's really active, and no one's ever going to see you in, the, like, a bush or something, and you're going to snipe like this, it's a good way to snipe. I mean, it's hardy. It can be hardy at kills at some point, because you got to shoot them from about their waist up most of the time to get a kill. Even above it, you can get a hit marker, but from chest above, it's usually a one-shot kill. And this is a fun way to snipe. I mean, it shows a lot of skill. Like, I like quick scopers too. I'm not going to, like, bag on them or anything. I mean, it takes a lot of skill for what they do. It takes a lot of practice. And that's exactly how this is. Um, trick shotters, I'm not going to bag on either. I actually asked some friends at trick shot. Um, one of my friends... He trick shots on PS3. He's really good. And I actually know him in real life. He's on my baseball team and all that. So, can't really say anything bad about trick shotters. I mean, whenever they're going across the map, just no scoping. You know that's luck. Because all you got to do is line them up. I mean, if I really tried 100,000 shots, just no scoping across the map, I'm sure I'm going to hit one sooner or later. I mean, I have a million tries. You're going to hit one. There's basically no point you're not going to hit one. And that, the 360s and fade shots and all that, those take some skill. Like, I'm not going to lie, like, it takes skill to do it, but hitting a shot actually, like, after you do it can be pretty lucky because most people like to do 360s and little tricks and all that. I've tried to do that sniping way, but I've never really been good at it, and I probably never will be. <laughs> um, I can quick scope really good too. Like I'm good at quick scoping. Um, I'll probably be putting up some of those gameplays too. Like I'll get some good sniping gameplay or quick scoping gameplay on there. And right here, you see me out of ammo on my sniper. So my friend comes and gives me a scar L with extended mags and silencer. Which is a good idea if you're silent sniping and you're about to get a high kill streak. Just have a friend in your party and have a silenced weapon just in case. And if you're close and you're out of ammo, have them come and bring you it. And if you're going to use this type of style or technique, I would suggest using Blind Eye and Assassin Pro. Or you don't really need Assassin Pro, but at least um, Blind Eye and Assassin. And... Basically, you're just going to want to sit still. Like, in this game, you see me running around some. I mean, you see me moving across this half of the map. I basically, I don't want to go on the other side of the map to the very end. That's because I ended up dying. Where all those people are coming out right now, I don't even get over there. And this is, like, the farthest I go across. I decided to, like, just see how sniping would be on this map. And I was joking around with my friends because I did terrible on this map earlier. I mean, you don't know how many tries it took me on this map to get good at sniping, to know how and where everybody goes. 
because, like I said, I just moved over from PS3 too, and there's a lot of different techniques. I wouldn't think there'd be that many techniques to change over to. It's a whole different style of gaming. They they just think completely differently. They got more strategies on Xbox and PS3. PS3 is more of a running gun. Xbox is more strat or strategic. And yeah, so basically. This is just kind of a fun commentary. I mean, there's some really interesting things that I learned since I've been looking around on YouTube, which is mostly what I've been doing the last couple of weeks, trying to find some better things that I can do with my commentaries and stuff like that. Um, but mostly I've been looking at um, some quick scoping montages and stuff like that. So if you like to see montages more than commentaries for sniping, just put it in the comment box. I mean, I'm going to read all my comments no matter how many I get. If I get 5, if I get 5,000, 500, don't matter. I read them all. I mean, I like going through my comments and just see what people like to post. And see what the suggestions they have for me to get better. I know this is kind of a boring commentary because I... I'm just describing a way to do it, so there's nothing really exciting about it. But if I'm talking about a certain subject, I mean, if I'm excited about that subject and pumped up, I'll be like, oh yeah, let's go, come on. This is so amazing. And this is just more of a teaching a strategic way of sniping with the silencer. Just games about it, in which, like I said, I get 35 kills, 8 assists, 1 death. And basically... All you gotta do is camp. That's the ma main part of this. People will call you campers and all that. Just ignore them, because at the end, just tell them look at your KD compared to theirs. It's about the same exact skill that you need for, um, quick scoping. But, um, this, because hard scoping is just as bad, because you have less time to react to them than if you're not zoomed in. So there's a little smaller space to aim. Yeah, just remember to rate and comment in the, um, below, and subscribe. Later.